hi guys welcome to another one so today we're going to be deploying our contract so we have these two contracts we have this fund me contract and then we have this library called price converter so we are gonna try to deploy this fund me contract so for starters uh we're going to use hard hat if you're new to hard hat <coughs> um when you set up a project with hard hat um which is very much well defined in this documentation this is how to set up a project with hard hat once you do this by default as it mentions here you will have an initialized project with the following project structures you'll have a contract ignition modules and test so what we're concerned about is the ignition module so on our project here we already have it uh, auto deployed auto created um, using hat hat so this ignition modules um, is where we handle the contract deployments okay so in our case we created a file called deploy.js and this is where we're going to be handling the deployment so if you're dealing with um, an old project this is not probably not the project structure and in this case had had explains to us how to deal um, in this situation, right? So in this situation, you would have to add, um, just one second, in this situation, you would have to add had had ignition tool. So had had ignition tool, uh, you'd have to add this dot fs, install this, and then add this on your config file and at that point you should we should be on the same page we should be on the same page and then you're going to have to uh, manually create this ignition folder and this module folder as we have here and once you get to this point we will be on the same page but for us who already built with hard hat we don't need to do this because uh, as you see here uh, when it comes to this gnomic foundation it basically has all the hard hat tools um, including the ignition package so for us we don't need to do that anyway so let's go to deploying the module we're just going to follow this uh, tutorial using the documentation on hard hat so just go to ignition right so in our case in their case here on the documentation you see they have this contract called rocket and this is how they try to deploy it right so uh, on the ignition module modules uh, folder they have this file called apollo.js so in our case we have deploy.js we're just going to copy this and paste it on the deploy.js okay so first things first we're going to change this apollo and call it fund me so and then also we're not using any apollo in our case we have a fund me contract let me just call this new contract right okay and then again in our case we're getting it from fund me so here should be the name of a contract which in our case is called fund me and we're just gonna get rid of this for now we don't have any param other parameter to add no argument to add and then we can also get rid of this and we can return this so what are we doing here here we're just going to define this build module um this m that you see here is a parameter that is passed into this callback um which is basically an instance of the module builder so so this module builder will create or will rather will give us methods um that will define or to configure the smart contracts so for example this m dot contract right which basically just gives us the contract called fund me so up to that point we can try to deploy and see what we will get 
so again back to the documentation first step is to run this node instance um, I believe we've already run this node instance Just one sec. here already we have it running but in case you don't you definitely need to do this first and then you can open a second terminal and on the second terminal then you need to run this command so i'm just gonna copy paste this and then i'm gonna get rid of apollo.js and replace it with our file name which is deploy.js okay let's run it and see great so we have two errors the first error says uh, invalid libraries the following library is missing and then the second error tells us the fund me expects one argument but zero are given okay let's start with the first error about the libraries so this could get a little confusing because here on the contracts the fund me contract we've already imported the library so you could be wondering how um how are we getting this error that the library is missing so to fix this on the deployment build here on the build module we also have to to let let um the script know that we're using a library so how to do this first of all this thing is run according to how we um it runs the tasks sync sync not a sync <laughs> the opposite of a sync so one by one the tasks are run according to the order that we set them so in this case it's wondering where the library is so first we should start by deploying the library first so in this case we would have to do the same as we have done here but to get the library which in our case is called price converter so we will just also bring in the price converter and then here as well we bring in the price converter and that's it so here our library we have it uh, on the builder so the next step we're going to do is just simply um add the library here right so what we're saying here is basically hey listen this contract is using the library so and we are also saying this contract is using a library called uh, price converter okay and um, so so that it doesn't get confusing we can call this price converter library okay so we're saying it's using a library called price converter in our case this price converter library so so far here we have successfully imported the library let's see uh, run the script again let's see if we get a different error so as you can see the error has disappeared regarding the libraries so now we still have to deal with the error regarding the fund me expecting one argument but we're given zero so back to this fund me contract remember our fund me contract has this um constructor so this constructor which is called immediately a contract is deployed has this um, is expecting an argument is expecting this address so we simply come back here and instead of having this blank we need to add an address so in our case i already set it up here on the env file um, this is simply an eth usd uh, mock uh, address so we will just simply add it here and just process.env dot address okay and then of course because we're using env we need to add require dot env and then dot config So if you do not have .env installed, you need to also install it. So I will just show you my packet.json. So as I mentioned, when I um, created hat hat from scratch, um, it came in with this toolbox, which also um, includes the ignition. So if you do not have this toolbox and you're using a, maybe an older version of hat hat, then you would have to install 
um, the ignition as, as we discussed before. In this case, I also have .env installed and then the chain link contracts for my uh, library. So that's it. Um, at this point, we will just try to run this again. And there you have it, guys. The contract is successfully deployed. And also, after the deployment, please do not forget to include uh, this network local host. Um, as you can see here now on the ignition folder, it's also added a deployments uh, folder for us, which basically includes the ABI and every other detail about our deployed contract. That's it for this video. See you on the next one, guys.